Hello and welcome to another episode of Mike and Dave's Hi-Fi Riff. I'm Mike Evans. And I'm David Price. And David, it looks like you're either moving in, moving out, going on holiday. You seem to yes. have brought a briefcase with I, you today. I've moved in, Mike. It's this. So, uh, you have, okay. I've, um, I've, I've brought my Volvo as well. I as noticed you know. your sleeping bag was in your car. Yes. <laughs> So. Um, actually, can we talk about that for a minute? Because there's a, a story not. behind it. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to. I can't wait for this. So, um, David did a trip up to the Lake District uh, last week to see uh, my parents. To see your parents, yep. and in your BMW, yep. your super uber reliable BMW, which broke down. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, this is God's honest truth because this is just brilliant. Uh, rather than get the train home. Uh, which is what normal people would do. What did you do? I bought another car. <laughs> you must really hate train journeys. <laughs> well, you know, I don't trust the train drivers, you know. <laughs> so I like to drive myself. Do you think they I keep go. going off the rails? <laughs> so uh, that's what's called a mic joke. Thank viewers. you. It was a good one so. too. So, so anyway, look, let's keep back on focus here. So, mm. so you decided that rather than go on the train home, yes. then you would buy a car. Yes. And you must have been really desperate because what did you buy? A Volvo. Mm, go on, go on. Get a little bit more detail. It's a C70 Coupe. In what colour? Orange. Well, orangey gold. Yes. That's so. probably being generous. Yeah. Um, so so quite, you'd rather, not too far away from... The, it's this. actually really similar to your briefcase, which yeah. came with it. Yeah. So you would rather have driven home in an orangey gold Volvo Coupe... Yes. ...than take the train? Correct. Okay. No further questions. Thank you very much. And, and actually, the, this... this it, am I on trial, by the this, way? You are. You bought a Volvo. Are you, you bought a Volvo. That's it. You're, are you're, you the uh, sort of a prosecuting barrister? If, or we, if we were 17 again, and I said to you, you know, when you get to, to our age in life, you'll be driving around in a Volvo, you would have actually just punched me in the nose. I, I may have done that. You would have done. You yes. would have, And now you are. You've turned into that person. Well, um, but it's when you get more mature, Mike, like me, then you begin to appreciate the finer things in life. Such like as this. what came inside this massive flight case. I'm getting less mature, I think, as I get older. Yeah. I just want to turn it around because it's even got a like a handle thing on it, hasn't it? Look at that. It's the most impressive case I've ever seen. It's a flight case, isn't it? It's it like is. hand luggage. It's, it's a proper flight case, yeah. yes. Yes. So, uh, and it has a go. logo on it. It says Falcon Acoustics. It says Falcon Acoustics, yeah. which is a little bit of a giveaway, as probably is the title of our yes. YouTube video here. Yeah. But this is actually a speaker box. It, yes, it, it is, yeah. It's a speaker box, yeah. and it's probably the poshest speaker box. It is, yeah. On the planet. Let's put it down there. Yeah. It actually weighs more than the speakers, which uh, which it's come with. Yes, it does. Which is quite interesting. <laughs> um, which are the... Are we getting Are we getting them out already? Oh, Look at these. You do the front, I'll do the back. That's customary, okay. isn't it? Yeah. There we are. No, okay. So just try and be very careful to handle these. Yes, because absolutely. They're the most expensive LS three five A's I've ever. ever seen. Ever, ever. Yeah, um, absolutely. And um, these are the twenty twenty four limited edition yeah. LS three five A's, aren't yeah. they? From Falcon Acoustics. So we better not um, knacker them. Basically. No, I'm I'm even sort of nervous to to, yeah. to touch them. How many of these are going to be made? I think it's fifty. Is it fifty pairs? Yeah, fifty pairs of fifty number LS. pairs. Yeah, so it's it's almost it reminds me of the Spinal Tap uh, uh, scene where he's saying, you know, don't even look at my guitar; it's too precious. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, this is the know, the LS three five A equivalent. Don't even look at these viewers; they're too amazing, amazing and expensive. They, they really are proper proper money, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, in fact, I, I can't think off the top of my head of too many speakers this size which cost this amount. It's yes. mouth-wateringly expensive. Uh, a, a mere uh, eight thousand pounds to you, yeah, Mike. Seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-five. Okay. All right. So, because you've got, you'll need to have that fiver because you'll need a beer yes. after you've bought. If you spent yeah. that much on these, yeah. so um, yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, I wasn't sure whether you were winding me up actually when you when you sort of. I, I thought it was all a bit staged. I would never oh. wind you up, Mike. <laughs> You I've turned a, up in a um, Volvo. I was you turned say, up in a, in, a, in a gold Volvo. I'm a mature, sensible man now. With, I've got a Volvo with with a with a briefcase, with a pair of speakers yes. in, and telling me they cost eight grand. Yes, 
and I, I'm still not sure. And it's too close to April, first of April, to um, it is. Uh, it's, well, it's pretty much uh, it's Easter really, as we record this. It isn't is. It? Yeah. It's fact. It's so, the day after. Yeah. So you're probably still within tolerance to. Wow. It's probably the first of April somewhere in the world still. It's, uh, so, it certainly is. But this is real. Yeah. This is real. You've got the, you've got the brochure. The brochure. Okay. Look at that, which is basically uh, two pages yeah. of A4. It's uh, stapled together. It's the press release. But the reason I've got the press release is that it's got massive amount of detail about why it is different to normal LS three five A's. Yes. And there's a certain um, contradiction here because the whole idea of LS three five A's is that they are affordable. Exa- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there, there's that as well, but they they are um, exactly the same. Yes. So if you buy a BBC licensed LS three five A then you are getting exactly the same speaker regardless of manufacturer. Yes, So, um, which we know ain't true. Yes, well... Because um, we've reviewed a few before, haven't yeah, we, in the past? Yeah. And, and, and I, we've documented this before. I was never a big fan of sort of the Rogers uh, LS35As from the 80s. Yeah. They didn't quite do it for me. They were a little bit dry, I thought, um, which is sort of a million miles away from these Falcon acoustics. I don't think you could ever, ever accuse, accuse these of being dry in any way, shape or form, could you? I think they're the best I've ever heard. Yeah. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they cost eight grand or because I now own a Volvo. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> will you stop laughing, please? <laughs> yeah, I still can't so, believe it. Um, so also, by the way, if we'd been 18 or 19, we'd never have owned BMW motorcycles. No. We'd never have owned a Volvo, and we'd never have owned LS three five A's. No, because we 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 were kind of Lin Can guys, weren't we? We were, and I still am. So. I've still got a pair of cans. Yeah, I don't own a BMW motorcycle. Yeah. I've never owned a Volvo. Yeah. So, uh, well, I've owned that... a, I've owned a BMW bike, and now I've owned a Volvo. Does that mean I'm still eighteen? Um, well, technically closer to to I, it than I am. I would um I would yeah. certainly uh, go down the third route though. I. I'd live with or these. Or have a Volvo. Uh, no. <laughs> I'd live with these, though, quite merrily. These are quite special. Yeah. Um, the, 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 am I allowed to sort of say that maybe the sort of the aesthetics are slightly acquired taste? Yep. Um, I think they're a bit sort of, a little bit Marmite, shall we yep. say. Uh, how did you describe the grills? Granny's knickers. They are Granny knicker grills, aren't they? So they're a little bit good. like the... <laughs> I'm just stroking the stroking uh, the granny's sorry. knickers because that doesn't uh, sound wrong at all, no, does it? Doesn't. It? No, I'd rather a w- wish he hadn't said that. So, so, uh, <laughs> so couple <laughs> couple of things. So the grills look a little bit like um, yeah. a sort of um, radiogram, yes, or maybe even ESL sort of fifty sevens. I seem to remember having yep. sort of yep. vaguely sort of granny knicker kind of grills. Yeah. They definitely look very old, but it these was, are. 1975 or something supposedly or from, uh, uh, based yeah. on so, so 1975 vintage I think it says Tigan grill cloths woven woven in Yorkshire England there you go so there we go there you are, yeah. there so, you are. interesting and they could easily have appeared on a, on a hacker radiogram couldn't they they or could something. absolutely uh, and then absolutely we've got this fantastic. fairly stunning cabinet yeah. which is um, which is really... Baltic birch ply uh, cabinet there we okay. go Okay. Um, finished in the natural English bur elm veneer. Elm, bit of elm, elm. Yeah. English elm. And I would love yes. if only my Volvo had this. You could have. A, if that on was on your dashboard, I wouldn't yeah. probably be so so smirking. Yeah. No. Um, no, well, it's really rather nice. Absolutely. I mean, it is beautiful, and it's satin lacquered as well. Yes. Um, the finish is just sublime. I think so. Um, I remember in the in the nineties. Castle, remember Castle speakers? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, yeah. So yeah. when they were still based yeah. up north, I can't remember exactly. It might have been Yorkshire. Um, they were doing incredible uh, veneers, incredible finished uh, veneers, and you know this is as good as that uh, or, or better. It's quite, it's quite gorgeous, isn't it? It, it yeah. really is. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's lots of. Um, it, that's not where it ends, is no. it? Because there's lots of trick stuff going on inside, no. which you which you can't yeah. see, with um, with some really clever. Uh, circuitry, capacitors, yeah. all sorts of yeah. weird and wonderful things. So you're you're basically you're you're um, so that the speakers themselves they, they still have the standard T seventy seven tweeter and B one one zero mid bass unit. Obviously yeah. that's LS three five A spec. Yes. So they are made by the the drive units are made by Falcon Acoustics, and there's a very long story which we won't go into here, but we we. Uh, mentioned in our previous review of standard Falcon 
LS35 A's about how they manufacture their own drive units to exactly the CAF, original CAF spec. Yes. Uh, yeah. And um, they're sort of, you know, uh, probably the closest you can get to those original drive units. I think. And, and they're doing something really similar with the with all the capacitors inside because haven't haven't they sort of aren't they trying to sort of match the ones from 25 years ago? So that they, you know, really, really sound incredibly close to to the what it would have sounded like twenty five years ago. Yeah, well, they, so. it says uh, in the press release that they've got uh, polycarbonate film capacitors, um, and uh, the film has been out of production for over twenty five years. Um, so this is a rare opportunity to hear what the BBC intended the other three to sound like. So there you wow. go. Wow. Um, and um, but it doesn't end there. Uh, amazing. Audio grade resistors, actually made in the USA in this case, and the printed circuit board of the crossover is um, a gold plated multi layer um, heavyweight um, uh, PCB with with gold tracks, I believe. So uh, there you go. I had um, no idea you could read. Yeah, so that's very okay. impressive. I know it's fine. You've got a Volvo, good. and you can read now. When yes. did you learn to well, do that? I'm trying that? to bring that's... a new seriousness to Hi-Fi Riff now that I've got a Volvo. Forget it. <laughs> got no chance so, you bought the press release i can't believe you bought the press release so with you go. you've never done that before so and it also says the best ls35a i've ever, I've ever heard by ken kessler well, what can you say you well, can't ken, argue with ken can you ken is a a, a bit of a um, ls35a um uh, aficionado yes um, and um basically knows his onions um yes that's, is that uh, ken phoning you now that's uh, chris franklin on the phone there so. really saying that ken knows jack so I'm not sure what Chris would say. He'd probably say you have to have Lim Can Mark ones. Yes, yeah, so funny. But um, that's so funny. That's a, that's brilliant. Anyway, See, I put my yeah. phone on silent when we're doing high fi right? Yes, I then did too. Don't, but it, then, yeah. then people don't bug me. Yeah, yeah. I've well, just had a call from my friend Simon Duffy, who's obviously. Okay. Wondering what on earth we're doing. He's a big Hi Fi Riff fan. Oh, so, okay. hello, mate. You just, sorry I missed your call. Oh, yeah, well, we were doing well, a bit more recording. We should recording. start a segment where you can phone us while we're. Uh... Yes, <laughs> yeah, just to annoy us and try and put us off. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. So, anyway, so um, basically, this version has got lots of amazing stuff and. You know, everything is as good as it can be. Basically, it's just the the best one, the best version of an S three five A that Falcon know how to make. And I think that many people will agree that Falcons, even the standard one, is one of the very best. Uh, it was it was the best I'd heard. Yeah, it was yeah. the best I'd heard. And I think so, if we go back to that riff, you'll, you'll see yeah. how impressed I was. Yeah. Um, however, um, I'm I'm I, c I don't know if I'm sorry to say or happy to say, but they have just been absolutely blown out of the water for yeah. me. These are these are unreal. Yeah. How do they get such an unbelievable sound out of a pair of yeah. LS three five A's? I just don't know how they do it. No. Well, I do because you've just explained why, and it's lots of technical well, it's stuff. All this fancy, expensive stuff. But you it? would have thought that you know, for these tiny little monitors, that they would have a a, a limit. Yeah. In fact, they do, don't they? And we've they've pushed it. Well, to like, it. exactly. We, this that, is, that's yeah. got to be the limit. The, hasn't I it? think. I think this is yeah. the. This is it. This is the definitive pair, isn't it? Yeah. And I mean, for a pair of Lin Can size speakers, they're the yes. best I've ever heard. Yes. Um, by a considerable margin as well. Yeah. Of that form factor, yeah. and if you wanted a pair of, of of speakers that size, you know, and you want to to buy the best you possibly can. Honestly, look no further. Yeah, I really, really think so. Yeah, because the clarity of the sound out of these is just stunning, isn't it? Um, I mean, we could talk about what the original Falcon three five eight, you know, the standard, if you like, yeah. quote unquote, sounded like. But these are just incredible. Yeah. I mean, the the dynamics for me. Yeah. Were were just stunning. Just the yeah. just you know really knock your teeth out yeah. um the detail the clarity the openness yep. wow i mean proper yeah. wow factor speakers yeah and and i love small speakers because it, it, you kind of want people to come in when you're listening to them and go where's all that noise coming from because you can't actually believe these little chaps can make that much that much sound that much volume of sound as well um, yeah phenomenal I mean, absolutely to use the another spinal tap analogy if if the Falcon the standard Falcons go up to ten and these go up to eleven, they really they? do. So they really do. Yeah, they don't yeah. change the 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 sort of sound of LS three five A's. They just make them ever so slightly more open. Um, there's better low level detail, isn't there? There's better dynamics. They kind of 
silent bits are more silent and I, I, the loud bits are louder. I, I'm going to disagree a bit because mm-hmm. I don't think it's even ever so slightly. Okay. I think these make a huge difference. Yeah. I think these are really amazing. Yeah. Because um, I remember really loving the Falcons, but this yeah. is just a different level. Yeah, I mean... It's just a different level. It's, it's you know, it, it's all... I mean, it, it, I think it depends how how much into one of three five A's you are. So if you're... If you know them, then you'll be amazed by them. Uh, yes. And if you don't know them, you'll just think that sounds really nice, wouldn't you? I think, I think so, yeah. 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 And I think yeah. it was the fact that I never really liked them very much to begin with. Yeah. And see how they've evolved into these yeah. is, is quite quite sparkling, really. I think the ones we were hearing in the in the 80s, the late 80s, early 90s, when we we were, we were had Lynn Can 1s, didn't we? Yes, um, yeah. You know, um, and we were often hearing sort of shonky old 10, 15-year-old LS three five A's in people's systems or whatever. And, yes, yeah. Um, you know, uh, but these are bang up to date. Even the standard ones are super fresh and, and tight sounding, aren't they? Yes, yeah. Um, and, what did uh, um, what did our pal Nigel Watling have? He had he, he had can a, ones. He yeah. had can ones, but didn't yeah. he end up with at least one name Nap two fifty amp driving them? Yeah. Got a feeling he sort of upgraded to that. He had I a seventy two high cap two fifty or something, didn't well, he? Well he had he I so, think he ended up with that. I think he started with a forty five one one oh. Yes, yeah. And then he sort of went to a thirty two Five, yes, two fifty, possibly. Yeah, p- quite yeah. possibly. Yeah. Um, but I remember thinking, you know, you really need to have that much power to, yeah. to drive these. Whereas with these, we 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 didn't actually have the most most powerful amplifier at all to drive them, and so, they cope brilliantly, didn't we? Can you so, remind me which exposure? Yeah, it's power. my exposure Super Eight. Yeah, which is sort of my go-to little so power eight amp, really. watts per channel. Um, it's a little, it's, <laughs> it's just a couple more than that, but it's but it's yeah. not a, you know it's not the most powerful amplifier yeah. in the world. I mean, compared to the sort of dual regulated fours, which are like a battleship, which you've you know, also got, it, it's nothing. Yeah. But but it's it but it drove these beautifully. It really did. It was amazing. It sounded wasn't great. It? Yeah. yeah, really amazing. Yeah. Um, I think sort of a little bit like the early sort of or sort of the late eighties name amps, the, the same era exposure. Yeah. Um, really, you know, do yeah. do an amazing job. Well, exposures of that era, well, even now actually, but especially that era, had a they were the sort of thinking man's name in a way. They, they were, they? I guess. Yeah. So they, they were yeah. they weren't as brash and as hard and no, no. You know, many people love that sort of seventies, eighties early name sound, didn't yes, they? Yes, I do. I'm one um, of them. Yeah, definitely. yeah. But the exposures were a little bit softer around the edges. They were, but still very gutsy. They were tonally ever so slightly warmer. Yes, I think. yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. But I thought they complemented these beautifully. They did, yeah, I really yeah. did, because they've got enough sort of transient power to really yeah. bring out the dynamics yeah. in, the, in these Falcons. Well, we were listening to uh, Spirits in the Material World. Yeah, World yeah, World because there's the an amazing snare which yeah. kicks in. Stuart Absolutely, Copeland's snare. Yeah. Um, it was sort of knock your teeth out, wasn't yeah. it? And and it it almost did. Yes, you know? yeah. But I, I haven't got any teeth because I'm a Volvo driver. So. <laughs> <laughs> not real yeah, anyway dentures <laughs> knock your dentures out uh, <laughs> Volvo <laughs> drivers so, um, and also yeah. we listened to Different Strings by Rush which is a difficult recording because yeah. that's really bright Yeah. Um, but this wasn't yeah. um, it was really palatable yeah. very very yeah. very detailed yeah. you could, unbelievably you could certainly detailed. hear that it was a brighter recording compared to The Police which is yes. pretty flat kind of tonally isn't yeah. it I yeah. think yeah yeah um, but but you know it sounded very lively and but it sounded great didn't it? I I've just realised why Chris Franklin just phoned you up. Why? I've just had a penny drop moment because he knows we've been playing Alphonse Muson, <laughs> doesn't he? He can tell. He's probably yes. he's probably sort of tuned into it with his super bionic hearing. He probably heard um, it, didn't he? Exactly, from uh, wherever he is, um, Japan or somewhere. No, he's, you know, he's so. I think he's down uh, down in uh, the uh, Kent area. Okay, so he's kind of less so. than a hundred miles away. We were playing so. quite loud. So. We were, <laughs> and no one else in the UK will be playing Alphonse no. Muson, so maybe no. he was sort of tuned into that. So, yeah. um, But that sounded really good. Maybe yeah. Chris was saying, have you got the new 358s, because I can hear them from Kent. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yes. Um, I've got to go so. to Kent today, actually. I could, have you? Yeah, pop, pop, in pop, and, down. And pop in and see him. Yeah. He'd see what he wants. Yeah. Um, borrow his uh, LP copy of Alphonse Muson. That would be good. That would be good. Actually, so. I'd like to hear Chris Franklin's system. I would too. Yeah, it's very different Chris. to what it used to be. I so, bet. Yeah, yeah. So for for riff viewers who don't know uh, uh, who Chris is, um, he was one of our formative influences, wasn't he? He was. Um, he was very much. We, we love yeah, reading yeah. Hi-Fi Review back in the eighties and and the Flat Response yes. uh, before that. And Chris edited that, and he was very opinionated. Um, he, he, I think he's mellowed a bit with age. 
but he was it was basically name and Lynn or nothing wasn't pretty it? much yes <laughs> so, yeah he, there were probably days. one or two other products yeah. he would like but yeah. exposure and, and yes. NVA would probably be and Riga. Know, up there somewhere yeah. Riga, yeah. 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 Um, but, but it that, was sort of that was it wasn't I don't it? think he'd talk to you if you had LS3.8 though that's no funny. he wasn't sort of really into yeah. the sort of absolute sound stuff was he you know in the um, and the more know, sort of mainstream sort of yeah sort of establishment stuff either so no no, um, no. but he was um, he was he, a bit of a NAD fan though he was yeah which is good yeah which is really good yeah so but he formed us a little bit and um, yes um, uh, he's to blame but he, he is actually probably so, very much to blame yeah. yes yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder what he would make of these Falcons I think he really liked them actually I think so yeah I think so I don't really see what there is not to like about them I think I think they sound you know, really, really quite amazing. Is that because so. you've got over eight thousand pounds in your bank account? Oh, I, 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 I'd, I'd spend that on just the briefcase well, alone. It's absolutely. worth it for that. It really is. Yes. Um, are we going to do a? Should we do a, a riffometer on these? Yes. Um, I'd like to just do a sum up, though. Please do. Um, Please do. Yeah. So yeah. So basically, um, I think we both agree these are the best LS three five A's we've ever heard by a margin for um, me. Yeah. 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 And and. Um, the the most beautiful in terms of the 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 finish and and all of the lovely stuff that's gone in them, um, and I think that you know if you if you wanted the ultimate LS three five A, here it is. Um, the the downside is, and I think many people in the comments will be saying, eight grand for that. You know, are you having a they, laugh? They all will. They yeah. all will. But you could always do what David's done and sell your proper car and buy a Volvo. <laughs> And a pair of LS three five A's because actually I've just realised that's what's happened, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Let's it's do a long a, story. Let's do a yeah. let's do a let's do a riff arbiter on them. Yeah. So basically, um, I would give these um, in terms of what they are and what they are. They are they are LS three five A's, and these are the best. So they've got to have ten out of ten. Yeah. Me. And and, and the, the, you're quite right. Ignore all the comments in the yeah. comment section about seven thousand nine hundred ninety-five pounds. You're having a laugh. Yeah. Ignore all of that. If you listen to them, they'll be you'll be amazed. It's not about whether they're worth it. It's not a value proposition. They are the best LS three five A's you can buy. Yeah, it's full so stop. Ten, for you ten as out of well. ten. Absolutely. Yeah, and absolutely. You know, and now we'll sit back and wait for the flat uh, <laughs> comments who are recommending yes. for the Roberta uh, an eight grand <laughs> pair of LS three five A's. But you know, if you if you if you want the you want the best that's it isn't it um i think and um you know if you want a, a high value at the 35a you've got to have the standard falcon i think yes um, yeah they are uh, super that's, that's they're, my they're, preference. I, I agree completely yeah. but these are sort of ls35a turbos aren't they yes so, yeah brilliant and look and on that note thank you so much for watching uh this uh this really lovely episode of of mike and dave's high yeah. which i've thoroughly enjoyed being part of because yeah. i don't think many people are going to get a chance to listen to these and i think we're very lucky that we have today yes um so thank you so much for joining us and yeah. uh, we'll see you at the next one thanks very much bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.